Hey everyone, my name is Alan, and um, today I have a match of domination on favela for you guys. And yeah, uh, what I like to do is start off with the tactical knife. Um, I like to go up to C, see if I can get anyone. And you'll see this is a big fail right here, climbing up to the roof. But yeah, I like to climb up to the roof, uh, throw a semtex or two down, or yeah, well I guess you only get one semtex, right? Throw one semtex down there, and hopefully you get, you know, a double kill or something like that, but this time I didn't, and this time I got killed. So now I'm one for one right now, which I don't like, and I get killed right here. <laughs> but um, now you see I just can't take enough of the killing, and I switched over to my ACR class um, to do some of the killing. And you see that guy isn't paying attention at all, being a big novice. I get killed right here because I'm not paying attention either. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do, right? Anyways, uh, what I generally like to do is defend B at all costs or capture B because that's what you must do in a domination game to succeed. You can't constantly defend A and C because they're on opposite sides of the map and it's not going to work out like that. So, A and B is your best best bet on this map because if you're on C you could get spawn trapped pretty easily and that's usually the case with most spawns yes um, or I guess C would work too no yeah I don't know yeah A A if you had A and B you could spawn trap C pretty well so now you know I'm just standing at this little tower, you know, doing my stuff, um, defending B, and yeah, that's what I set myself to do most of the game, instead of Claymore there, because that's probably a good, you know, location, and as you can see, that was a 4 kill streak, and I got my Predator Missile, because I am using Hardline Pro, and here is a fail of the Predator Missile, but you know, whatever, I'll get back on my feet, try and get my two more kills to get an attack helicopter, and yeah. So, you know, I'm just looking around, making sure no one goes to capture B, because if they do, I'll just go up, go up there and, you know, shoot them down. Uh, I'm getting a little bored, so I'm moving to A, you know, see if I can pick anyone off there. And, yeah. I think I end this match with uh, 44 and 7, which is pretty good. Uh, my kill streaks are Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and Pavlo. Now, the reason I have attack helicopter is because generally people like to think like, oh, attack hel helicopter, that's not going to do anything because that's a stupid kill streak. Well, yeah, if everyone thought that, no one would shoot it down and, you know, my attack helicopter would just be going to town on that, on the whole, you know, on the whole map. So, that's why I have it up. And usually when people see a pay flow, they get, you know, intimidated, intimidated. And they'll generally try and shoot that down faster than they would an attack helicopter. And attack helicopters do last for pretty long, I think. So yeah. And I run Pavlo because people usually people usually don't shoot down the 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 airstrikes that you can that you can't control. They usually they usually shoot down chopper gunner and AC-130. So that's that's sometimes that's why I don't run those as often as I do with Pavlo and, you know, attack helicopter or area strike. But, you know, yeah. Anyways, you know, I'm just walking around. I know that C and B, between C and B, it should be relatively safe because everyone's spawning at A, so, you know, it should be free to roam anywhere. And I see a guy go in that building, so I'm just going to wait it out. Waiting for him to come out. I warned that guy to go in there. And there's someone in there, but you know, he stupidly runs in there and gets shotgunned. So, you know, it's not my fault he died, bro. Right? Anyway, I see that my Pavlo is gone, so. I mean, my attack helicopter is gone, so I'll call call in my Pavlo. And as you can see, my Pavlo starts to do pretty well, actually. Um, and when I'm going for more kills. I really don't like to use the chopper gunner 
and the AC-130 as opposed to the pave low. Because if I use the pave low, I can have the pave low up and I could be shooting around with my gun at the same time. So I'd get a lot of kills as well. And people would be too busy trying to, you know, like dodge the pave low or something like that. And you'll see that's another fail of a Predator missile. I am pretty bad with uh, driving, controlling that thing, I don't know. But you know, um, I think I can. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought I got my own second attack helicopter, I guess I don't. But um, yeah. What you want to do on domination is, is you want to you want to make sure that B is always safe. You know, you can worry about A and C later because A and C would be uh, pretty easy to capture if you guys lost it. But B would be a pretty hard you no know, capture point to capture once everything's settled in, and because people can just spam, you know. You know, people can throw grenades in there, noob tubes or whatever, RPGs or whatever, you name it. They can just go, they, you know, they can just do whatever they want to stop you from capping B. And that, so usually what you want to do is get B at the start of the game and you should pretty, you should do pretty well during the, during the course of the game if you keep B defended. So yeah, I like this spot because uh, it has pretty much a clear view of, you know, you could defend every point, I guess. You could defend people from going into C, you can defend people from going into A, you can defend B really well. But, uh, so yeah, you know, it's a good spot. Um, I like Hardline Pro, or Hardline, because getting a Predator Missile on hardline is the equivalent is equivalent to getting a care package in you know without hardline and that is pretty sweet especially if you're running UAV cuz that's two kills to get UAV that's pretty good and um, yeah you know hardline can be a really useful perk you know how people always complain oh I'm one kill away from a harrier and I died or one kill away from an AC130 or something like that so that's good. Now over there, I knew I was gonna get my pave low and one more, one more kill, and I know I definitely could have got one guy at least at C. So you know, I just went for it. I'm not, you know, going for, you know, I'm not trying to get a really nice KD or anything. I'm just trying to get all my kill streaks so I can properly defend in this game. And yeah, pave lows are definitely. One kill streak not to be mess messing around with. It's it can get you a lot of kills if the team, um, you know, yeah, it can get you a lot of kills. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, this is also a good spot right here. If you plant a claymore to my left on the screen, then it's usually a really good spot for. Uh, to sh snipe out A if you guys, or if you're playing a game and your your team has A, and that would be a really good spot. And also right here, as you can see that guy walking by. But the game's over, and I end up 44 and 7. And if you like my video, subscribe and everything. Eh, comment, comment, rate, rate. Uh, 